Okay, today we're going to talk about the most common mistakes, and that happens to be about five of them. But the first thing you have to do is turn on those lights to yellow. And the reason we use yellow lights is because they don't emit any UV. You can be under as much yellow light as you can get. Brighter the better, because it's important to see what you're doing. If you have just one little white or a white light bulb or a one little yellow light bulb up there, you can't see anything. Get it bright. Just like in this room, it's nice and bright. I can see everything easily. It's important to have yellow lights. One of the common problems that we have with coating troughs is, believe it or not, even though they are made of uh, aluminum, they don't last forever. They do get dinged up. Like this one has a nice edge until you get to the spot. You can actually feel it when you run your finger across. If that isn't perfectly smooth, it's not going to put down a proper amount of emulsion. Don't keep using it. Buy another one. They're not that expensive. Keep them in good shape. Make sure you use this cover when you're not using it. Protects the edge. Okay, another tool that is highly recommended uh, in the screen room is a tensometer. You may not have one of these, but they really are important. What they're going to do is measure how tight the screen should be. Because believe it or not, all mesh manufacturers, they tell you what the recommended tension is for each screen frame. Each screen mesh is going to have a different screen tension. Uh, consistency is the name of the game. This will give it to you. So I'm going to show you this screen frame. This is a wooden frame, obviously. I personally don't like wooden frames. Wooden frames have a problem. They have great tension when you first get them, but after you use them a few times, the tension just disappears. So I'm going to take this cord. Put it on the screen. Now, because this has poor tension, I can almost tell, because I've done it quite a while, what's going to happen. I'm going to put more emulsion in the center of the screen than the outside. The whole idea of coating a screen is consistency. That's why you have a nice sharp edge. Okay, as you can see after coating, you can actually see these, these marks here. That's caused because the tension is not where it's supposed to be. If it was nice and tight, it'll look good. These lines are indicating that you're going to be putting more emulsion on, which you did. And that more emulsion means a different exposure from that spot to that spot. It is impossible to get a good screen exposure with this coating. Impossible. Now, one of the most important things in, in coating a screen is the same pressure and the same speed. You want consistency, nice smooth motion. If you stop anywhere on the screen, you're going to end up with a line on that screen. And that line means a different exposure every time. Can you see all those lines? Those lines mean you are never going to be able to expose this screen correctly. And because you can't expose it correctly, you can't even image it correctly. You're going to be putting down different ink deposits all over your print because of those lines. Every time. The important thing is smooth motion. That's how you do it. Okay, another common mistake people make is coating too thin. It is without a doubt the most common problem we have when screen making. The stencil is too thin. Okay, so I'm going to coat this screen using the sharp edge. And that's the coating. What a lot of people will do is they'll be done coating just one side. Stencil, without a doubt, is way too thin. When the stencil dries, you have to remember this emulsion is made of a lot of water. As it dries, it's going to shrink. And it's actually going to shrink to conform to the shape of the mesh. It's going to be a real rough surface. The smoother this surface, the better your print quality. There, because he does a second coat, you can actually see a difference on the amount of emulsion being put on. In my humble opinion, it's still too thin. 
Usually when you're coating screens, you want a one by one or a one by two. With Textile Pretty, you get away with quite a bit. A lot of people do one by one. Don't do just one, it's never enough. Now that was a sharp edge. I want to show you the difference. I'm just turning this around. Get a little spot where I gotta touch it. Now this is with the round edge. That's one coat. You can see just one coat with a round edge comes pretty close to equaling two coats with a sharp edge. Now, on the squeegee side, I coat like this. That's one by one. Now you can see easily the difference. What you, want to, what you want to end up with is enough emulsion on the print side of the screen so that it actually is away from the mesh. If the emulsion starts to encapsulate that mesh and sink in too far, now the mesh actually starts to take over your print quality. The emulsion is the important part. It's the EOM, emulsion over mesh. You want to have right around 10% of the total thickness of your stencil to be on this side of the screen. If it's too thin, there's enough there. It, the mesh is doing all the work. And the way that shows up is in your print quality. You get what's known as sawtooth. Everyone knows what sawtooth is. That is the killer in high print quality. You want to have enough emulsion on this side of the screen. That's where coating craft comes in and technique and learning how to coat. Now, one of the other big problems I see in the shops are how do you dry this screen correctly. Dry your screens, squeegee side up, always. Don't dry them like this, don't dry them like this, and dry them in a cool, dark, dry place. Or if you have heat, don't get carried away with heat. You want about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they're dry, get them out of that drying cabinet. Whenever we design emulsions, believe it or not, we have a leveling agent in this emulsion so that when you dry it, squeegee side up, the emulsion comes to this side of the screen and levels flat. It's a leveling agent put in there so it dries flat. You do it this way, the emulsion ends up on this side, wrong side. You run a squeegee across there, you're gonna wear the emulsion out. This side is the print side. That's the important side, I can't stress that enough. Screen making is difficult, especially when you use a direct emulsion. It takes time and it takes having the right tools and the right emulsion and the right mesh, and it's gonna take a while. Your first screens aren't gonna to look too hot, I guarantee it. Consistency comes with practice.